Friday. When the Chevrolet Sonic came to our market a few years ago, there was no derivative that really did justice to its title. They were all economical, sure, but its hedgehog namesake became famous for being fast, not fuel efficient. Now they've added the RS model to the lineup and they hope it'll carry favor with young, budget-minded buyers who want performance, plenty of gadgetry and street credibility. Let's find out if it's any good. The addition of those two letters really stir expectations. RS has been slapped on the buttocks of manic Ford and Audi models, but in Chevrolet parlance, RS is actually reserved for the lukewarm, semi-performance offerings. Power here comes from the boosted 1.4-litre engine that General Motors also uses in the Opel Astra and Chevrolet Cruze. It produces 103 kilowatts and 200 newton meters of torque and dispatches the little Sonic from standstill to 100 kilometers an hour in about 9 seconds. Now if you're expecting real sonic boom, you might be a little disappointed, but it does feel like a willing performer and the extra poke offered by that turbocharger affords it an advantage at these altitudes. You can't really drive it slow, it demands that you have a bit of a heavy foot. It wants you to take off vigorously from that set of traffic lights, but the good news is that it's still frugal with a claim consumption figure of 6.6 .6 liters per 100 kilometers. Now on the drive, well the steering is quite nicely weighted, giving it an air of solidity and connection to the tarmac. But in the bends, the suspension feels a little soft and overall it's not as sharp as its direct rival from Suzuki, which we'll be taking a closer look at in two weeks time. This is certainly much happier punching through the city and seizing gaps in traffic than it is on an open stretch of sinuous road. One of our favorite toys is this MyLink touchscreen interface, which is pretty smart. Now the drive-in seems to have become extinct in 2014, but that's not a problem because this thing also plays movies, which is awesome. General Motors has a very wicked sense of humor. They say, sorry, you can't have a Camaro in South Africa, but you can have a Camaro steering wheel and pedals in the Sonic. You might want a bench seat to complete the atmosphere, but these chairs are better clad in leather with classy suede accents. Sharper quills have gone a long way to make the Sonic more enticing and at 225,300 Rand, it is 1,400 Rand dearer than its alternative from Suzuki, but you do get a whole lot more even if its dynamic abilities are slightly inferior. And if you can live with that, it's a pretty good car. Yeah. Yeah.